Good morning. It is, uh, what day is it today? Thursday. We're on day two of our two week daily vlogging marathon. So here I am doing what I said I would. Uh, I was able to edit my, my yesterday's vlog pretty quick yesterday, so that was nice. I got a new computer, so I went from a four year old MacBook Air to a the latest model MacBook Pro, and that makes the process a little faster. So I think that might be, this is gonna be a good way for me to get used to the new machine and new workflow, et cetera, et cetera. So that's always good. Right now, I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment, uh, just a checkup. Ever since I got health insurance last year, I've been trying to make sure I get, just do a checkup once a year because that's the responsible thing to do. So we're on our way to that. And then I'm gonna go to job number one. I'll tell you guys all about that after my doctor's appointment. See you in a bit. done with the doctors uh, the doctor said that I was a vision of health apparently all my vitals are good and uh, based on the lab results from last year's checkup uh, they did like full blood work and everything I was uh, I was doing pretty good last year so I have high hopes for this year I did get a, a referral to a dermatologist to, just to get some moles checked because I have a lot of moles and uh, yeah a little blood work situation. So now I gotta head off to work number one for the day, which is, so I have a buddy who is the operations manager, operations director, something or other for a, a small company called Ice Skelter. They do these like lap desks and other wooden products for uh, Apple products. So they have like little docks for Apple Watch chargers. They have little organizational, I don't know, it's just fun little uh, wooden products. And so I've been helping him a few hours a day, just kind of sanding down the, uh, the products once they're made or once they're cut out and uh, just kind of help him with some manufacturing. It's just a side gig to help pay some of the bills while I grow my business. And so I gotta go do that for like four hours and then I get to work on my own stuff for the rest of the day. So that's the plan. So this got done working. So we're just sanding the whole time. So we just get covered in all this sawdust and that's super fun. And I got this humongous splinter on this finger right here that I had to dig out with like a freaking knife because it was huge. Done with work, now I'm gonna head home and work. So, good day so far. Woo! I'm home. So today I started this new thing that I've been reading slash watching a lot of videos about, uh, watching a lot of interviews, podcasts, things like that. It's called time-restricted feeding. And basically what it is is that you only eat within a smaller window of time during the day, and then the rest of the time you basically spend fasting. In the case of what I'm trying is I'm trying to do a nine hour window followed by 15, is it 15 hours? 15 hours of fasting. That might be a little ambitious, so we're gonna see how it goes. But basically what I did is I didn't eat today until noon, uh, which is an hour and a half ago. And now I'm gonna eat pretty uh, consistently until nine o'clock, after which I will no longer eat until noon tomorrow. So that's the idea. And basically it has to do with the gist of what I've seen so far, and I still need to learn more about it, is that your circadian clock, so your internal clock, essentially has like 
God, I don't like the lighting. We're gonna leave the kitchen here for a moment. So your circadian clock uh, essentially sets a timer for, because of our diurnal nature as, as a species, so in other words, because we are daytime creatures, we've evolved basically to work under a 12 hour window between sunrise and sunset. And so our digestive systems are actually driven by this internal clock that basically says, or basically makes our metabolism work at a really, really good level for 12 hours or less and then it stops working as efficiently. So basically the moment you take in your first, any kind of, what do they call it? Xeno nutrient or Xeno something or other. Basically anything that's not water, anything that your body has to process through the liver or the kidneys, your body starts that clock. And that includes even, you know, zero calorie, anything, coffee, etc. So anything other than water basically. So what it says is that if you take in anything, you're, body starts this 12 hour clock and if you eat anything after the 12 hour mark then your body's not going to metabolize it or digest it as efficiently the idea is that if you eat within that window that time restriction your body is able to i don't know i'm still learning that's the gist of what i know of it so far so today i started it i'm uh, trying it today for the first time and i started it at noon and so now i have it till nine o'clock eat. So that being said, I'm going to eat something. Holding down to the pool. Switched over to my phone because I don't really want to be carrying my Canon camera down to the pool with me. Might freak some people out that are already by the pool. I just want to jump in, just rinse off a little bit. Plus it's nice and warm out, so the pool is like calling to me. All right, Ben, I want you to tell me the story about the uh, Navy physical test. Oh, that, that really the laughed. test or the... When they wanted to measure you. Oh, they wanted to measure me. Give the background. <laughs> I want to hear the whole thing. So, so the Navy standard is, for, for somebody that is 5'11 or 71 inches like me, 196 is, is the limit. Um, over, for weight. It, for weight. So I was overweight, um, according to Navy standards. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <laughs> so... I was about 210-ish the last time I did a, a fitness test with the Navy. Uh -huh. And uh, so I weighed in, 210, okay, we need to tape you. So they do the BMI test where they tape around your neck and then they tape around your waist. Mm -hmm. And um, they're like, we need to tape you, take your shirt off, put your arms to the sides. And I was like, okay, took my shirt off, there you go. Put your shirt back on. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me let me walk without getting taped. That's so funny. <laughs> That's gotta be like the most satisfying. Like I felt like Thor. <laughs> Just like okay. Just put it back on. You're fine. <laughs> That's a great story. For now, put your shirt back on. <laughs> okay. Which is why BMI is bullshit. Yeah, it really is. My BMI right now is 29. Which is which is what about what it would have been for you at the time if you were two ten because that's yeah. what I weigh right now. So you're like twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah. But according that. to my doctor today, I'm a vision of health. So with a twenty nine BMI. All right, it is six thirty, and I am headed to cross swim today. I typically do that on Thursdays. I haven't done it in a couple of weeks though, so. I'm excited to get back over there. I post about it pretty frequently, but if you haven't heard of CrossWim, it's uh, high intensity interval training, like body weight exercises, mixed in with a little bit of running and a little bit of swimming as well. So it's a nice way to uh, kind of change up the workout regimen. So I'm headed over there right now. I actually did a giveaway on my Instagram last month with them. Uh, I like those guys very much, so I'm gonna, uh, Grab one of these bikes, head over to Crossman. So, <clears throat> I've 
It was halfway there and I realized I forgot my water bottle. So I'm gonna go on a mission to see if I can buy one before the crosswind starts, which is in 20 minutes. So seeing that I'm on a bike, shouldn't be too difficult. Found a little bike shop called Sonoran Cycles. Get a little water bottle. So now we're good to go. Now on the crosswind. All right, so we're doing like a sprint up this ramp. And then we're doing frog jumps, followed by a little jogging, and then some lunges. That's number one. That's number one, we're gonna do this a few times. So this is the beginning of the workout, and then afterwards we're gonna go to the pool and do some jogging. How you feeling, man? I'm ready for number two. Yeah. After having done CrossFit yesterday, my legs are definitely feeling it. Oh boy. Three. So that was the end of it. Now we get to go to the pool and swim. I'm just hoping for push-ups. Are you? I love push-ups. You remember how much I love push-ups? Yeah, you love push-ups. I love push-ups. I love push-ups. Brutal. My shoulders are killing me. I think yesterday's CrossFit workout combined with today's workout just made for a uh, pretty good combo. How you doing, Caleb? Yeah. Caleb was my cameraman and the coach, the source of all the suffering. <laughs> also, my shorts ripped, so it's gonna make for a, an awkward walk home when. Everybody sees my ripped shorts. Uh, so I just got home from Crosswim. 
Had a great time. Uh, stopped by and grabbed a quick bite to, excuse me, to eat. <coughs> wow, hold on one second. Grabbed a quick bite to eat, uh, got it in right at like 9.05, 9.10. So that is my nine hour uh, feeding window that I talked about a little earlier. So first day of doing this time restricted feeding went pretty well. I made it to noon and then I ate, probably could have eaten a little more throughout the day, but I still got some food between noon and, and nine. And so tomorrow I'm gonna try it again. So basically from now for the rest of the night, I'm gonna drink, I'm taking nothing but water. And then uh, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna keep it at nothing but water again until noon and then start to eat again after that. So that's it for day number two of this 14 day vlogging marathon. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.